Hey, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of the Now and Then Some podcast with Robin and Kaylee. I'm your host, Robin. And I'm your other host, Kaylee. And here we talk about everything from now and then. And then some. That's right. And what are we talking about this week, Kales? Well, I'm thinking a little weekend recap. Ooh, a little Memorial Weekend recap. A little Memorial Weekend recap, or in my case, a Mayor Memorial Weekend recap. Oh, Okay. <laughs> I thought that was a typo. Nope. That's just... I get it now. <laughs> Mayor Memorial. Mayor Memorial. It was Meredith's birthday weekend, so I went out um, with her, got some time in the sun at the pool. Then we went out on Sunday. We went to Fresa's downtown. Some really good Mexican food in Mark's. Mm -hmm. Not as strong as Dana Hada. I was able to have <laughs> a few and be fine. Bless it. Um, and then we ended up going out. All night long. All night long. Mm-hmm. I'm really bummed I missed it. It was a good time. Um, we got Capri fun, so her Dallas friends came in town, the Dow Pals. Um, <laughs> That's and cute, too. Yeah, the little Dow Pals. So I bought a round of pickle shots for everyone, as I do. But of course. They loved it. Um, then I brought them all Capri funds because everyone needs to experience a Capri fun. Totally. At Greenlight Social. If you, they had never had one. I oh. said, oh, well, let me just get like around. that's not even just a Greenlight Social Club I feel like thing. it's like not either. Social Club? Social. Greenlight Green Social. Yeah, I think yeah, it's yeah, social. Yeah. Okay. Um, you know, there's a place in like Lake Jackson, baby. <laughs> they have Capri Fun. Nice. Um, the ones at Greenlight are better because they're like legit Capri Suns. Universally infused. beloved. Yes. <laughs> um, and then we ended up at the gay bars. Nice. And very I haven't been since college. Yeah. Um, very fun. Uh Lots and the best fun. part about it was they played I can do it with a broken heart yes. in the gay bar. And everyone was loving it. They just get it. Yeah, everyone was loving it. What about the That Taylor? was the first time I had heard it out. Yeah, I don't think I've ever heard it anywhere else other than my Spotify. That, same. What about the Taylor haters in the bar? Did you see any, like, grumpy Gus's with, like, sourpuss looks on their face? No, I was on the dance floor. So when I looked out on the dance floor, everyone was just... Thanks. I mean, you're Camera in the right bitch, smile. Um, yeah, everyone was getting it. Yeah, so. I don't think grumpy Gus's are going to gay bars. I uh, could be wrong. There could be some grump grumpy gays. There could be, but everyone <laughs> seemed to be into it. Is that I, the, the episode title: Grumpy Gays. <laughs> <laughs> grumpy Gus's and Grumpy Gays. <laughs> I can barely say that. I hope no one took offense to that because I did not mean it. <laughs> um, no, everyone loved it. I loved it. So That's I just awesome. Was it the like by the book? You know, by the book, they normal. didn't even they didn't even clurb it up. Yeah, you know? <laughs> I was wondering. No, it was just by the book, and it was it slaps. It's like, yeah, it's the one I song on like that. Oh yeah, come on, it's the one song on the album that can Ooh. go hard in a bar by itself. I can't wait to experience that for the first time. It was amazing. It sounds magical. I, wanted, I just wanted them to replay Play it again. It. <laughs> Play it again. Wait, I missed the first part. Play it again. <laughs> right. Um. So that was cool. Super fun. Um, I was supposed to join y'all, but I was in LaGrange with my friends from, you know, childhood, all-time best friends, and we were in the pool, and kids were there, they mm -hmm. were playing, and it's a good hour and 10 minutes, and so I was going to, you know, meet up with y'all beforehand, go out, spend the night there, and then come back, but this is a group of friends that I don't necessarily see that often, and when it's I really rare that thought all about get it, together. Yeah, yeah, when I really I thought it. about it, I'm like, I see y'all all the time. Like, I really wanted to be there for Mayor for her birthday. But I texted her. She was very understanding, of course. Mm -hmm. um, such a kind human, that Meredith. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, we'll have to we'll have to do a makeup day. But I definitely had FOMO. I know you did. I largely I could feel it. Big in FOMO. Your, I could feel it through our connection yes. that the FOMO was yeah. kicking you a little tush because it would have mm -hmm. been kicking mine too. So. Yeah. So I spent three days in the pool, basically. That's amazing. You wouldn't know it. I was about to say, Robin, where's I'm that bad, tan? I'm bad in that I'm really good about sunscreen. And mm. this time, I, at least I only wore 30. Yeah. But I still, I'm, I'm a reapplier. I'm a very thorough. I have like one little swath of a burn. Mm. I just don't, I hate being sunburned. Yeah. So I'd rather just not get a tan. Like I don't, it's it's one or the other for me. Mm. I can get a tan, but it's over the summer. I can't do like a weekend and I'm tan. God, literally, it's I like... wish I could. Harrison, oh my gosh. Really? One day and he's like, it's like so, the end of the summer. He's so... like Troy Bolton at the beginning of High School Musical <laughs> too, <laughs> Right? So one of Meredith's friends who actually lives here in Austin, I hadn't seen her for, I don't know, maybe like a month. And then I saw her on Sunday and she goes... Kaylee, you're literally seven shades darker yeah. than the last time I saw you. I was like, yeah, I've been out in the sun twice. Yeah. Literally two days, and I'm seven shades darker. So interesting, because I would not describe you as olive-skinned, but that's what I would 
like typically attribute to someone who tans really easily. You, you just don't got think that I'm gene. Olive skinned? I wouldn't describe you as olive skinned. Mm. But I you do have, get pretty pasty you, in the winter. But I mean, yeah, you you have like you're very it's a stark sun difference. Respect sun. What's the word? Responsive to the sun. Yes. Yeah. Um, I love when I'm tan though. Yeah, I mean, who doesn't? And I just could roast in the sun all day long. <sighs> I'm going to LA at the end of June. I don't think I've told you that. I know you no. Yeah. Going to LA. Uh, it's our friend Anna's birthday. Mm. And oh, you said you were thinking about it. Yeah. You mentioned it. Um, Holly got me on payday and I was like, let's go, baby, pull the trigger. <laughs> and then I realized it's Father's Day weekend. Nate was like, cool. So you're out of town for Mother's Day. Now you're going to be out of town for Father's Day. Not that he really gives a shit, but yeah. he's like, cool, cool, cool. I was like, sorry. I already booked the tickets. It's her birthday. So she just told us the theme. It's going to be like picnic chic. Chic. Ooh. Ooh. I know. Okay. You're going to have to like share that with me ideas i've yeah. got a couple batch parties oh yeah so any inspos great that'd be cute i'm not typically a pinterest girly but that seems like a great place to oh do don't some worry scouting. i've been saving some shit but yeah just send me anything that mm-hmm. y'all come up with because mm-hmm. i could use it yeah um another thing i need to talk about that's not positive the freaking astros not the disaster that disastro- it again back. robin what game are we at? Like 497 of the season? <laughs> <laughs> it's so frustrating. Like, what are we looking at? This roller coaster of we just, we can't get the job done. Like, it's either one or the other. So either our pitching is on fire, we let them score maybe one to two runs, and then they have no run insurance. That means our offense is not hitting the ball to make up for the t- one to two runs that the pitcher gives up. Which if a pitcher is only giving up one to two runs a game, that's freaking solid. I like run insurance. Run insurance is what like it's called. That could be applied to so many things in life. Like have its own little term. I want to be thinking through that lens. Okay, great. I like it. Um, we're not doing that. Though. Yeah. <laughs> and then, or our pitching freaking sucks and they're scoring nine runs against us. Your run insurance but policy. We just can't get on the same page. Sucks. And it's frustrating. And my man, God love him. My man is sucking this year. Bregman? Bregman. I said Berkman. Okay, so back in the day, we had Lance Berkman on the Astros. Uh, I think, I so think, I think that's, that's actually what, what I was thinking of. He was part of the Killer Bees. Way to go, me. <clears throat> no, that's right. Um, Damn. Now Bregman, and he just ain't looking right. You just want to shake him, right? I just want to shake the shit Smack out of him. Smack him around a little bit. Get it together. Also, Snap out of it. Oh, my God. That just reminded me. I had to talk about this. What? Oh, this just pissed me off so much. I see this clip of his wife, okay, doing a podcast. And she is talking about how when she met Bregman, she didn't know who he was. She had never, like, watched baseball, didn't give a shit about baseball. It just fired me up. Because you know what? She probably doesn't even appreciate the fact that he's literally a World Series champion. I'm sure she reads. She didn't as, even know anything about it, As Robin. someone who dated a UT baseball player the year that they won the College World Series, you know, no big deal. I didn't know anything about baseball before that. But whenever you become a, a wag, like you get into it and you understand everything about it because you want to feel like you're a part of it, too. So you learn the all the terminology, all the different, you know, oh, that was like he balked and like, oh, I get why he got like a a uh, mm. penalty or what's it called whenever you an error like you like start to understand that like oh first base is like the most error prone because like you just learn those little things and yeah. it starts to make you appreciate something that you never were exposed to before it doesn't mean she can't love it and appreciate it now but you can think that i, I didn't like the way it was presented that's fair i didn't like it because she didn't back it up with but now i but blah, now blah, blah, blah. I yeah. like i'm sorry that could have been me, okay? <laughs> and there it is. <laughs> okay, let me say what I really want to say. That could have been me. Um, so that made me a little... Yeah. Mm, yeah. You know, it's fair. whatever. I need I need him to get it together. I need the Strohs to get it together. It, it sucks, Robin, because, like, we've been on such a high and we've been so good that, like, for us to come out of that era for me is really going to be hard because there's the dark ages that we don't speak about where sure. the Astros were absolutely disgustingly awful. Mm-hmm. I was a fan then. I'm going to be a fan forever. But I don't want to go back there. Well, as a UT fan, it ebbs and flows. Oh, I know. I mean... I and know, usually, but Robin, we've been so high that I'm trying to stay there as long as And I can. when there's, like, leadership changes or, you know, big players or big, you know, voices on the team changes, like, things... They got to take some time to adjust. I don't want to adjust. I want to... We have the same... We haven't had that many changes. We had to let some pitchers go. You know, I just... I want to stay high. No no big changes, though? I mean, the coaching changed, but right. it was 
an assistant coach that just stepped up to head coach. Oh. He already knew the team. It wasn't yeah. like some random like came some, in. Or some like big name from some other. No, yeah. it wasn't anything like that. Yeah, so shit. I don't know. I'm trying to stay high, but they're really making me sweat this season. Yeah. Get it together. Get it together. <laughs> um, and then another thing. So this upcoming weekend, which will be the past weekend when this episode comes out. Mm. So I can talk about it because it won't spoil anything by mm. the time this comes out. Um, I have my cut. What? That's fun. Yeah. <laughs> my cousin Michaela's bridal shower. Awesome. In Corpus. Very excited. Um, she put me in charge of games. What do you oh, know? Shocking. <laughs> right? <laughs> um, so I planned some fun games. Nice. And one of the things I planned is also a surprise video from the groom. Mm. So I sent him like 12 questions and we're going to see if their answers match. So at the shower, I'm going to play it on the big screen. I feel like he'll do well. They usually do. I've done this before. Yeah. Um, well, I met him. Oh, yeah, you did. Yeah. That's right. I feel like he's like tuned, in tuned. Like, I think they'll they'll yeah. match on yeah. a lot of them. Yeah. Um, and so it's I'll awkward when they don't, though. Oh, 100%. It's so awkward. I always get so worried when... In front of everyone, so we'll see how it goes. Yeah, yeah. Um, but he did a really good job. Good sport. It was yeah. like, I'm in, yeah. And so he mm -hmm. sent it to me. I uh, need to edit it, you know, make it cute. Yeah. And I'll pause it and ask her. It'll be fun. So... I love that. That's a good idea. She has no freaking clue. So love a surprise. I like that. Those games can go, like, not just that game, but yeah. games at those types of events. I tried to do some different games, the ones yeah. that you don't always play. Right. I'm going to do... You know, like musical chairs, but pass the bouquet. Fun. So I'll get everyone passing the bouquet. It's mm -hmm. Mama Mia themed, so I'll play ABBA the whole time. Cute. Come on, baby. Cute. Um. So yeah, I think I think we'll have a good time yeah. with it. But I have no plans this weekend, which I'm loving. Oh, uh, with the exception, that's the best. with the exception of a swim meet. Um, the kids had their first swim meet this past weekend, and it was actually fun. Besides the besides five, the five a.m. five fifteen a.m. call time, which is ridiculous considering that the actual meet doesn't start until seven. Yeah, that's ridiculous. But I was a pit parent with Harrison and five other little six and under boys, and they were so cute. They were so chill. It was the best. Got to watch all of their events. I won't go into detail, but it was fun. It made me think, like, do I want to do that as my and then? But I feel like we've talked about swim meets before. Yeah. So, but oh, it definitely brought back memories, and I didn't, oh. I didn't mind it as much as I thought I would. But mm -hmm. this weekend, I don't have to volunteer, so I could hypothetically just show up at seven when it starts and not have to get there super early. We'll see. See how you're feeling that I morning. I like to be a part of those things, mm -hmm. you know. I'm sure, like, at least one I won't do that for. But this time we're playing up against um, the Tidwell's son. So the Tidwells will be there. Nice. So shout out Nick. Love it. So, yeah. Uh, one more thing. Okay. Have you seen this thing that's, you know, TikTok or Reels or whatever trend? So you have to breathe in and then let out all of your air. Like, push out all yes, of your air the noise. and then scream. Oh, my God. Should we try it? No, I can't. Should we try it? I can't. Come on. Okay. So I breathe in everything, mm -hmm. let it all out, and then make a noise. I'm yeah. so scared what's going to come out of my mouth. Should we go at the same time or just you go? No, you go. I tried it in the car by myself. Was it good? No. Okay, I'll go. I'll okay. Go. So she's breathing in. She's breathing in. She's letting it all out. And then you got to, like, keep pushing, 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 push it all out until you literally just, like, push it all out. You're squeezing. Somebody's squeezing you. Squeezing. <laughs> <laughs> that was not all <laughs> whenever I did it in the car I'm not going to recreate it but I will I won't do the whole thing it was like uh, like that <laughs> like a croak yeah <laughs> like, like you're croaking croak. yes so but that made me think like oh I've seen some funny ones I, it also just made me think of that was like the third time in the past I don't know 10 days or so that someone's talked about breath work like I, I was I'm taking this course and they did like the whole breathe in for four, hold for seven, out for eight thing when you need to. Isn't that to sleep? No, it's for oh. um, there's one like to recenter. There's something like that for yeah. sleeping too. And then I talked to someone else about how they like I'm in the same vein of like, I can't meditate. And they're like, just start with breath work. And it's actually surprising how much it helps you. I'm like, I could see that. I'm just no, I'm not going to do it. Thing. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. But I think maybe the universe is trying to tell me something. So, so well, maybe you need to we'll do see, some maybe breath work. I'll look back on this and be like, remember when I thought breath work was lame and now I'm like a yogi master? Oh, God. Like, no, nope. Robin, please don't. Wouldn't be me. Please don't do that to us. That is not. I'm like, can we introduce a breath work segment into our podcast, Kaylee? <laughs> Bonus on Patreon, Robin's breath work series. ASMR. I mean, I'm way more down for that. <laughs> kind of okay. doing that with the cookie, speaking, cr speaking crumble of cookies of ASMR. I was going to talk about this. So I feel like there's like two types of cookie reviews. There's what we do, which I prefer. 
where we talk about it. Yes, you get a little crunch maybe on the yeah. bite, but you talk about it. Then there's the ones where these girls are just up in this mic. They're eating the mic and the cookie. It's just like straight crunch, chew. Like that's a thing though. If some people real like it's a legit, I don't know what it's called, not a phobia, but like called like um oh not the phobia. I'm thinking of where you hate it when hearing people chew. Am am I crazy? I swear I see this all over TikTok. Mukbang. That's a thing. Yes, it's like where people literally eat and people like it. But there's the opposite thing where people have like such an aversion to it to Mm -hmm. where if they're you know maybe on a date with someone and they chew funny, they're like I'm out. Like, they cannot stand the sound of people chewing. Huh. Yeah. So, sorry if you just heard that and you're one of those people. Yeah, sorry. I barely did it. But <laughs> I barely did it. But um, some people get in there. Mm-hmm. I would just feel, like, very uh, self-conscious about the noises I'm making. I conscious when I am chewing on, like, a call with someone and I have my AirPods in. You know, you can just hear oh, yourself. it sounds like it's echoing in your I always ear. ask them, I'm like, is my chewing really loud? And they're like, no, I literally can't hear it at all. I'm yeah. like, well, I can, so I'm going to stop <laughs> eating because it's so loud in my own ears. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, it's a thing. Bless it. Eh, I think that's it. I think that's it for that lovely <laughs> long-ass intro. <laughs> intro. Okay. Okay, <laughs> let's go to and then. Okay. <laughs> Okay, my and then mm-hmm. is the movie The Incredibles. Love. Uh, reason why it's my and then is because it was on cable the other day and I watched it. Nice. And it had been a while and it just slaps. It's good. I love it. Um, we used to have the Incredibles video game mm. on the PlayStation. Yeah. And you got to play as all the different characters Fine. with all the different powers. PlayStation. Yeah, Robin. That was good. But you nailed that. Thank you. I don't think I could do it again. No, nope, don't even try because we don't want to screw it I'm up. Not, I'm not. That was really good. Um, but we had the game where you got to play with like all the powers. Me and sis loved that game. Could you play as Edna? No, she was in there. I love her. We didn't get to play as her, but she was part of it. I love her. You did have to go through Edna to get into the yeah, yeah, totally. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, that movie is just who's your fave? I was gonna ask you, Robin, if you could have any powers. Ooh, um, mine's easy. I don't even have to think about it. I already know which. Violet, the flipping invisibility and force and uh, like uh, I was gonna protective say, shield, either invisibility or like the going really fast dash. Yeah, because just, you know, being able to get where you want to go mm-hmm. really quickly is to awesome. literally run on water is awesome, cool. but also invisibility. I mean, but it's not even practical, the, but it's not even the invisibility part. I mean, that's cool. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, but it's the force field. Like, yeah, you can literally protect people. Maybe I'm just a protector, but like, yeah. You can literally protect anyone from anything. But let's take the superhero aspect out of it and put it maybe in the lens of like Alex Mack, where she got those powers from the radioactive goo or whatever. And <laughs> okay. you are you are Kaylee right now. Yeah. You're not a superhero. There's yeah. no villains coming after you. Which one would like come in more handy? Probably going really fast. Probably, but I still think I would I mean invisible is so cool. Invisible and the shield is and super the shield, cool. you kind of get a twofer. Mm. And I love a twofer. So that would be my choice. Why not both? Yeah. That makes sense. But, I mean, any of them would be cool. So superpowers, I'll take them. Whatever yeah. you whatever you got. <laughs> I feel like if I'm Robin, though, yeah, I can't really do the super speed thing because then people would know about it. They'd be like, how'd you get here so fast? Whereas when you're invisible, they're not going to be like, why are you invisible? Because they right. literally can't see you. Right. <laughs> it's true. Because... The Elastigirl, same thing. They're going to know yeah. the second you stretch out your arm. Yeah. And the strength thing, they'd be like, whoa, that was weird. Well, how'd you just pick up that car? Weird flex, literally. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And even with a force field, you could be like, that was a w- weird how that object was flying at you. And then it changed trajectory. Yeah. Spooky. But the other ones, you can't. <laughs> Spooky. <laughs> the other ones, you can't really deny. You're yeah, like, no. I took a plane, but you got to L.A. in two seconds versus... So yeah, yeah. No, I'm d- I'm doing. All right, it's Violet. Violet, done. Okay, great. Done and dusted. Okay, that <laughs> done and dusted. <laughs> okay, that that's my and then. Okay, my and then is science fairs mm. in school, and also that made me start thinking about the the trifold thing that you'd have to go to yeah. Hobby Lobby or Michaels to get totally. and put all your stuff on it, all your findings, and you want it to be really catchy. Mm-hmm. That also made me think of at one point whenever I was in school, and I don't remember which grade, it was either elementary or middle, or as my father-in-law said the other day, grade school. 
And Sawyer goes, wow, you know he's old. And he says, grade oh school. And I was like, Sawyer, it's because that's K through 12. <laughs> they have numbers. <laughs> and I was like, but yeah. <laughs> also hilarious that your nine-year-old daughter is like, wow, you know he's old. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was like, fair. Um, we had like an invention competition. Okay. What'd you invent? I invent. Oh, God. <laughs> so dumb. The brush 2000. The brush o You want to take a guess? Something with your toothbrush. Correct. Okay. Mm-hmm. I don't know what I a super it, toothbrush. It was <laughs> it was an electric toothbrush. Okay, with a suction cup on the end, so you could it would suck brush the your off your teeth. No, on the other end, so you could shower and lather up all your. Oh, your so teeth. while you're showering, you can brush. <laughs> Wow. Efficient. <laughs> so wow. stupid. Wow. I thought it was something. I really did. Well, I'm sure you got a good grade. For I got a, a good grade. I didn't win. No, but for a kid, that's a great invention. I want to say it was something where the winner actually like got something. Like it was a mm. like a third party thing that oh. you know, and then you could compete at a, a higher level, blah, mm. blah, blah. So, you know, if it had a telescoping arm, maybe. <laughs> but it <laughs> was like literally a little just, bit more. You gotta be right just, up against that wall. <laughs> literally just yeah. <laughs> Maybe it did actually like extend from the wall, but that would have been cool if you could like move it a little. Then just have to defeat the purpose. I don't know. Anyway, um, so, but for science fairs, the one that I remember, I'm sure I competed in a few here and there when it was yeah. required. The one that it was more of a science project and then we just presented it at the end. It wasn't like the typical fair where there's yeah, winners. I'm going to be honest. I don't really remember a fair fair. I yeah. know what they are. Yeah. But nothing is sticking in my brain. Yeah. You think of like the typical you know, you all have your set up yeah. and everyone walks around. So we did that, but it was more, it was a really long project that we did. And so we wanted to share our findings mm-hmm. and there was no prizes or anything. So mine was, it, we were assigned partners and me and, or sorry, Carly and I did a project, which was actually pretty interesting. So we, we surmised, we hypothesized that human hair when added to soil would help the plants grow. Because of all the stuff there. I don't know where we came up with this. Whatever. We found a local salon that gave us bags of hair clippings. Mm. And we did an A-B study where we did everything right with the plant. So it's not like we were, you know. um, You didn't change anything else. Yeah. And we weren't. What's the word I'm looking for when you like starve it or like ignore the plant? We didn't neglect neglect the other plant. We treated them both the same, gave Mm -hmm. them the proper food and sun. And they both grew. But I think we did it over like a six-week period, and the difference between the two was stark. Oh, that's cool. And in doing this with different, you know, going oh God, to different but salons. Then it's like you're almost like wanting people to like die in the soil. It's so just like, their hair clippings. Yeah, that's So true. whenever we would go into different so salons. Of like a dead body in the soil. And I'm that sure that would do. Just shooting up. I'm sure that would do really wonders. help. Yeah, yeah, I mean, if you think about like what fertilizer is. Right. Um, but a couple of salons we talked to were like, oh, yeah, we, you know. People come and collect this we water for our this plants purpose. With, we water our plants with hair. They're like, we do have people come and get it just for this purpose. So we were we were right. And we had to record every little Look at y'all. side of it. And I remember thinking like, this is pretty. Science is fun. I remember. Oh, my God. Memory unlocked. Mm-hmm. Whenever I was a camp counselor for this place called Heart House. They changed their name, but it was called Heart House at the time. Right before I got married to Nate, I was a like a camp counselor over the summer and for fifth grade. And they had this kit that. I'm sure I could easily find like a very popular kit of like Bill Nye adjacent Mm. that had all these different little like activity packs that you could do, which my kids do a STEM pack every month now. That's really cool that Betty told me about. Shout out Betty. But they had this one thing where you put this like a hard piece of plastic into the end of a solo cup. It was all with like everyday stuff and it had ridges and you would run your fingernail along the ridges, and out of the cup, it would say, science is fun. Oh. And so you can make it be like, science is fun. How fast you went, or you go, science is fun. Oh. And it was just your finger on the ridges that made it say that. That's and we cool. thought that was so cool. That is cool. So now anytime anyone talks about science, me and Nate are like, science is fun. <laughs> <laughs> that's cool. Yeah, so that's my end then. That's a good You were one. about to say something, and I cut you off. Um. Oh, I was going to say, when I think of, like, science fairs or, like, inventions or, like, school projects, I just remember making my parents stay up with me late the night before to get it done. And them just being like, why did you wait till the last minute? And us, like, trying to make the solar system look cool. The solar system. The solar system. I remember that one. The solar system or a diorama. So let me ask you, since you have the kiddos, have you had to, like, stay up and do that yet? God, no. 
Okay, well, I'm sure it's coming. And I'm sure it's coming. I mean, I've done little things here and yeah, there, but, but never not, that nothing major. intricate. I remember in seventh grade, we had to make a diorama of some battle. It was Texas history. Oh, yeah. And we had to make a diorama of some I feel like that battle. was the best history class was but Texas history. But it was history. so cool because we Texas got like history. this stuff. Yeah. We got this stuff that was like um, like kind of clay, but it, like when it dried, it was like sand. So you could like stick the figurines in it and make it like they're and make the... And then you could paint it, Mm. and it looked like a—it was really cool. It was big, too. It was like half the size of your couch cushion. Wow. Yeah. That thing was awesome. I remember that being really fun. Like, if I can just create some cool stuff, but if it has to follow, like, the exact dimensions of the solar system and be very, like, specific, it's like, what is the point of this? Yeah. Where's the creativity portion? And also, where's the—what are you learning from that? Arts and crafts. Yeah, but you're supposed to be learning (laughs) about the damn solar system. Right. (laughs) I understand Mars now because I painted this ball red (laughs) and hung it from some fishing wire. I know that it's the fourth planet from the sun. My very, what did you say? My very energetic mother just made us pizza, nasty pizza, Neptune, Pluto, RIP. Yeah. You didn't didn't have a? No, I just know it. Oh. Yeah, Mars. I'm sure I used to have one, but I now I I couldn't tell you. Am I even saying it right? My very energetic mother just made us nasty pizza. Yeah, that's right. Nine planets, eight. Poor Pluto. What did it do? Nothing. It was just out there being Wait. cute. It's no longer a planet. Wait, no, no, no. What? Say it again. My very energetic, energetic. <laughs> my very energetic mother just made us nasty pizza. Where's Saturn? My very energetic mother just made us some mm. pizza. <laughs> this on next week's Robin's wrong. Yeah. <laughs> Robin wrong. Robin. I don't know. <laughs> she'll she'll figure out what it is one day mm-hmm. or not. I'll forget about it for three episodes. Anyway, should we go to the now? Let's let's go. Okay. <laughs> My very just served us. Mm, that sounds right to me. That sounds more right. My very energetic mother just served us. But where's Merc? Oh, Mercury is the first one. Yeah. Okay, so it's my very energetic <laughs> mother just served us nasty pizza. <laughs> That's right. Okay. The new Love Island <gasps> is starting very soon. I don't know when. Oh God, I forgot the premiere date. I'm look it up. Yeah, you can look it up while I talk about it. Okay. Um, they've released like the OG cat, like the original. Um. Islanders that are going to be right. there. They've sh- they've come out and done their little intro TikTok videos and all that. So we've seen that. So it's got to be soon. Yeah. Because they're already filming all the promos and releasing the people. So I'm pretty sure it's very soon, like in the next week or two, Robin. Yeah. And we're talking about UK, by the way. Which is the best one, the better yeah, one. for sure. Or is it on already? Like it is in the now. Oh, if it's on already, I know what I'm doing tonight. Yeah. I mean, it's either on already or it's within the next two weeks, I swear. Uh, June 3rd. Oh, yes. Yeah. So literally in a few days. Yep. Yeah. So, so very exciting, exciting because Love Island UK is by far the best. You got to get you that VPN, get you that ITV account. I've got yours. You can good. Watch it. Oh, okay, great. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll be tuning in. So we won't um, talk about it until it's out on Hulu. Hulu and like give people a couple so weeks should, to. Well, so should I not and wait on Hulu that way? I can let you know where Hulu's at, kind of thing. Sure, we'll see. I'm definitely not going to wait for Hulu. Well, I don't. I don't trust you to. No yeah. offense, love it's you. Fine. I don't trust you to. <laughs> it's fine. I know, Robin. She's locked in on some Love Island. Yeah. So very exciting. Very exciting. Um, another exciting kind of speaking of like they announced who the oh Islanders are. Uh, the star-studded cast of Knives Out Three is wildly started. Like some big ass names. Yeah. So let's just list off a few. We got Chris Evans, Dave Bautista from um uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah. Love him. Um he was in the second one too. Oh okay. Mm-hmm. Kate Hudson. I never saw the second one. Oh I, it's so good. I don't know why I haven't. Like I have They're every both really I really enjoyed them both. Yeah. I loved the first one. I've seen it a few times. Yeah. So I have every intention of it. Uh Anna de Armas, Jamie Lee Curtis. She was also in the second the one. second one. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Hugh Grant, Glenn Close, Lindsay Lohan. That's kind of okay. a curveball. Okay. Um, Mila Kunis. Love. Josh O'Connor, who is one of the guys from the Challenger movie mm-hmm. with Zendaya. Jeremy Renner. Carrie Washington. We've talked about her a couple times mm-hmm. lately. And Tom Hardy. Love it. Which I'm anything with Tom Hardy. Yeah. I'm in. Drool. Yeah. 
So yeah, very cool. They've just kind of been like dropping a few names every day. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, ooh, add it to the list. Ooh, add it to the list. You know what that makes me think of is uh, we saw the movie If mm -hmm. with Ryan Reynolds. Mm -hmm. And I don't have it pulled up, but I took a screenshot so that I would um, think about it during because I do that thing constantly during movies like, who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Mm. So I just went ahead and preemptively screenshotted the cast. And it's like crazy, like Brad Pitt, George Clooney. All these big names. Blake Lively, of course, because Ryan Reynolds. Um, but it's really cute. What is it about? It's that one where uh, it's written and directed by John Krasinski, and it stars Ryan Reynolds. And it's with the in imaginary friends. That's the IFF. -if, and mm. how they like don't have I a kid anymore. A and so they, they run a matchmaking agency to find them new kids. Oh, mm -hmm. interesting. Yeah, it's very, very cute. Mm. Anyway, love a star-studded cast. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um. Speaking of stars, yeah, Millie Bobby Brown, mm -hmm. that girl went out there and got married but on the low. How? She's like 14. <laughs> In everyone's brain, she's still yeah. the little 11. kid 11. Yeah. <laughs> um, she got married to John Bon Jovi's son. Weird. They're very cute, though. Not in a bad way. Just like, yeah. what? Let, small world. <laughs> like throw two names in a bowl, pull them out there. That's what you get. Um, They're very cute. I saw some pictures. They They post together. How old is she? I believe she's 20, I want to say 20 or 21. That's still too young, but whatever. To each their own. It's very Hollywood. I want to say 20 or 21. Okay. Why don't you fact check me? I could be way off, but I'm pretty sure it's around there. Millie Bobby Brown is 20. God, I'm good. Yep. Yeah. Wild. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, she got married on the low. No one He's 22, so at least it's not, like, it, weird. It, it's not weird. Yeah. I would have called that out because, you know, she's been in the scandals. Mm -hmm. Well, good for them. Wish mm -hmm. them all the best. Yes. Definitely. And uh, Kylie, Kel speaking of wives. I love it. <laughs> I'm trying to she's do trying a segue. trying with the transitions. Um, Kylie Kelsey was caught on camera. Ooh. Ooh some sister. alliteration. Uh, telling off some drunk chick who tried to go up to her and get a picture with her and... She it was not the business. She was not having it. No, and politely this girl declined. Was like being very obnoxious towards her and Jason, yeah, getting right in her face. And she said, "You know," she said no. And the girl was like, "You'll never be welcome back in my town. I don't even know who you are. Then why did you want a picture?" Right. And she just put her in her place. Yeah. yeah. Let me tell you, that's one woman I would not want to mess with. No. Like. No. No, I no. Mm -mm. I would be like, yes, ma'am. Yes. I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. Please I forgive love you. Me. I love you. Do Goodbye. not blackball me from this town. Yeah, but instead tried to, yeah, she tell her off. Drunk. And Kylie said, uh, "You smell. I can smell the alcohol on your breath, um, and you're embarrassing yourself." Yelled it at her. Yeah, she did. Caught was, on camera. It was aggressive. Um, yeah, but again. Don't mess with Kylie Kelsey. Yeah. Nobody's mad at this. Nobody's no, mad at I'm Kylie not, for it. I am not upset with Kylie for it. It does make you wonder if it was someone else like a Kardashian, if they would have been getting shit for it. Maybe not. I don't know. Maybe. Mm. It's hard to say. Yeah. It just, the girl was being very obnoxious and wouldn't yeah. leave them alone. Yeah. So she had every right to snap back. Yep. Probably not how I would have handled it, but I'm, no. a, I'm a little different. And also, <laughs> we don't know what happened before then right. or in the past. I don't know like, what they had been dealing it, with. It definitely didn't seem like a, an isolated incident, like that she would right. be the type to snap like that if it was right. just that one, like that That would be very odd. Yes. So, yeah. More power to you. Get it, girl. Mm -hmm. um, nope, I got no trip. Get it, <laughs> get it, Joe. <laughs> there you go. Okay. Um, next update is Joe Jonas is coming out with some music on his own. Mm -hmm. So I saw this TikTok that he posted and you know how they'll play like a clip of a song that's not out yet. Yeah. And it was like his song mm. and it was pretty much like society slash whoever he was singing this to, like telling him like you're being embarrassing for being depressed, like come on, get it together. And he sings even baddies get saddies. I love that. So that's much. like part of the chorus. It's giving Taylor Swift, Tortured Poets Department. Even baddies get saddies. I'm like, sing it, Joe. Tell them. There needs to be an epic mashup of that, and I can do it with a broken heart. Which is, but it. I don't know if they'll do it because Sophie is best friends with Taylor. I know, that's why it'd be so good. And Joe is an ex. Mm -hmm. So it's very interesting. Yeah. Even baddies get saddies. I love that. <laughs> Weren't people speculating that maybe Nick was going to do some solo stuff because he I'm, buzzed his hair? Y yes, they were. Yeah. Um. So I think they're they may 
they may all not Kevin, uh, you know, throw a few singles out there yeah. in between Joe Bro albums. Do they still have um un like fulfilled tour dates that they still need to do? Yes. Hmm. So they're not broken up. Okay. Or anything, but I think they just hey, we're gonna separate for a second. Maybe Joe's like, I gotta get my sad boy shit out. Yeah. Nick's like, I'm gonna do a buzz cut, come sad out boy with some jams. <laughs> you know. So I love that. Joe's having a sad boy summer. Even Saddies. Even baddies get saddies. Even saddies get baddies. I was about to say that too. Because you know, uh, Joe, he, he, Joe, you can get whoever you he want. He can definitely get himself some baddies uh, if you want to do. Hundred percent. I love it. It works both ways. Yes. Fantastic. Okay, that's all we have for the now. All right, let's take it to watch it, weirdo. Okay, so I watched Buffy. Good for you. Yes. And by now, you will have released your apology video. So hopefully everyone saw that. And if not, go check it out on our Instagram and TikTok. Thank you very much. Make sure to comment. Shame. <laughs> Thanks, Robin. Mm -hmm. um, well, I watched it. Good. It was good. Mm -hmm. um, very, like, 90s-esque. Like, every part of it yeah. was very 90s-esque. Like, was 1992 to the max. To the max. Mm -hmm. Um. The scrunchies, the cheerleaders have the scrunchies in their hair. Uh, Hillary Swank is so young. Mm -hmm. It's like actually like, oh, my God. I forgot she was in that until yes. I, I she's did like a She's just one light. of the friends. She's not even like a main character, but yeah. she's one of the cheerleaders. She's one of Buffy's friends. Yeah. I did a light like rewatch, get myself reacquainted with it. Mm -hmm. Totally forgot she was in that. She is a baby. It's yeah. crazy. There were a lot of people in it. I'll let you say what you're going to say, though, before I rattle them all off okay. but I was like wait what yep um and then at like the first 30 minutes I was like oh they just made Buffy the annoying blonde girl <laughs> like she was like really annoying yeah at the beginning of the movie yeah I was like of course she's the annoying blonde girl they had because to have I, the I guess I like think of the show and I always loved Buffy in the show yeah and it has been years so maybe I didn't but that's how I remember it totally I think the way that I always thought of it, knowing, like, having watched the movie so much when I was little and then watching mm. the show, was that the show was, like, a continuation of the movie, mm. so she wouldn't have been annoying anymore. Mm -hmm. But I don't know. I have no idea if they were related whatsoever. It was just a different version of her, but right. that was, like, the story I told myself. I mean, that would make sense if yeah. it was that route. Um, the little phrases throughout this movie, <laughs> I wrote some of them down. I, I couldn't even keep up with how many little phrases I wanted to write down. Yeah. Um, take a chill lozenge. <laughs> Ooh, what a sitch. <laughs> that was so five minutes ago. She's <laughs> such a blemish. I would say the middle two I definitely have said. Like, Ooh, what a sitch. Maybe like, what's the sitch? Oh, I say what's the sitch. Oh, okay. But it was the way they said it. Yeah, yeah, it. yeah. That was so five minutes ago. <laughs> I was like, God, could you be any more annoying? <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I, it was just one after the other. It was crazy. Yeah, they um, really leaned into the camp of, of yes. It all. Yeah. I was like, whoo, okay. Mm -hmm. Um, these vampires are hideous. Yeah, like I like the Twilight vampires. I mean, we <laughs> all very, like sparkly vampires. The, the very um handsome and beautiful ones. So yeah. I was like, these are ugly creatures. Yeah, they really like pasted on the the yes. pastiness. Yes. Yeah. And not even just the pastiness, but the. The gross teeth thing. I was, mm -hmm. I was like, this is, this is yeah, hideous. and they can float, fly. Yeah, it was weird. Yeah, yeah, weird version of a vampire, but 1992. Mm -hmm. Then I got so sad when they killed Merrick. Yeah, that was so sad. Yeah, I didn't want him to die because him and Buffy had grown a nice little relationship. Mm -hmm. um, so they killed Merrick, and Merrick is the coach. Her, no, uh, the actor, President Snow. You didn't notice. Holy shit, you're right. Yeah. I knew he looked familiar, Robin. President Snow. And I couldn't place him, and I didn't look it up. Like, I was like, oh, he looks familiar, and then I just I, let it, it go. It clicked. It took oh my a God. few seconds for it to click for me, and then I looked it up to confirm. But yeah. You see, it didn't click for me. I was like, oh, he I looks so familiar. I can't think so of his familiar. name right now, but yeah. Oh. President Snow. Okay, well, President Snow died, and it was sad. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it, that was very sad. It was very sad. I thought it was interesting, though, how they told it because i don't know if i don't think the show followed this of like they just keep like being reincarnated yeah i don't really remember that in the show again it's been years though. yeah i don't think they did so long ago um but that yeah was... that was that was sad mm -hmm. pike and buffy so cute i remember that scene so vividly of her like him being outside her window yes 
That was the first time I was like, oh, Pike. Oh. <laughs> My heart like flutters. The um, yeah, they were very, very cute. They had their little moment at the dance. Mm-hmm. He asked her to dance in her little very interesting white dress at the prom. It's always a prom. It's always a school dance, yeah. isn't it? Um, so that was very cute. And then all the vampires attacked the prom. Lots of dramatic, interesting fighting. Her doing five flip-flops in a row like she's a cheerleader, but also a vampire slayer. Yeah. Oh, my. Everything was so dramatic. So dramatic. Especially the iconic scene yeah. that you've yeah. done. I was like, why? This movie definitely has a little bit of an identity crisis going on. It's not my... I was going to say, it's not my... It wasn't my favorite. Yeah, like, is it funny? Is it is it dramatic? Right. So what I read about it was that the writer... I want to say it was... Josh Whedon and the director or maybe other way around like they had creative differences and it really Mm. shows that tracks yeah that tracks it Mm -hmm. was it was good it was fine easy watch just kind of takes you for a loop when you're like or throws you for a loop when you're like wait why is this so serious right now right like they were making jokes Mm -hmm. it was kind of the same thing with save the last dance yeah it's like making jokes is this like supposed to be super serious is this supposed to be like yeah. funny light like mm-hmm. kind of all over the place yeah. yet again mm-hmm. um but you know it was fine the thing that kind of struck me was like all the bodies yeah. like how the principal's like detention detention yes. like on the dead bodies whereas across i feel the like floor. every other vampire movie they turn into dust yeah, or they go up in flames yes, or whatever. Yes, or flames. Yeah. Yeah, it was just like... No, dead bodies across the freaking gym floor. A lot of dead bodies. Uh, yeah. Like, what are y'all going to do with this? Dramatic, those? extra... You got to get rid of them. Yeah. It's it a whole to-do. It was interesting. Mm-hmm. Um, I have cheesy, easy, and dramatic. Love it. <laughs> cheesy, easy, breezy, and dramatic. Cheesy, <laughs> easy, dramatic, buffy. Yeah, exactly. Nice tagline. Mm-hmm. All right, so, oh, one other thing I wanted to say. Did you recognize, I didn't, I had to look this one up. I'm like, what do I know Buffy from? She's the the one in um, Big Daddy. Yeah. No, I love Big Daddy. Me too, I I'm watched it Adam, the other day. I'm, I'm a sucker for Adam Sandler. Yes, and then Ben Affleck was in it as one of the basketball players. And then David Arquette, obviously. Obviously. Pee Wee Herman, obviously. Yeah, obviously. Ugh, ugh. Um, so, yeah, a lot, I think. I didn't notice Ben Affleck. More. He was one of the basketball players. He oh. was so young. Maybe I didn't recognize yeah, him. Yeah. Or he was a blip. Yeah, he didn't my, have a he probably. didn't have a big role. Um anyway, yeah, President Snow is wild. Uh, he looked so familiar and I was like, I can't place him, and then I like forgot to look it up. Yeah, it's what, thirty two years ago? Mm-hmm. Math. Good job. Robin. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. All right. Um, so moving on to Soul Surfer. Mm-hmm. I loved it. Good. I mean, of course, it's a true story. Mm-hmm. Um, so my notes were first Carrie Underwood is in this. <laughs> right? Huh? But that's just a sign of the times. And then um, Helen Hunt. Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. It made me think of Castaway. She's the little mama. Yeah, have you seen Castaway? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. I uh, love yeah. that movie so much. Um, Wilson. Okay. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I will say there was uh, there was some tough moments with the CGI on the, when they were surfing. Yeah. That you was know the only thing that took me out of it a little bit. What's interesting is sometimes they would do the CGI Sometimes they would use actual footage of Bethany Hamilton. Yeah, and you could tell. And you could tell when they did. And, and it's just like, why not use just another stunt double who's a good surfer? Because, and maybe it's that they put all of their budget into her arm. I thought they did really they well did on that. They did so well. Yeah. One of the notes I have is like, oh my gosh, they're showing her arm. Because I thought when I saw the kind of more lower budge appearing CGI, just here and there in the surfing, that maybe they would just shy away from that and just have it be a bandage and then do like a, a green and screen like always, situation. always the shot would be like before the yes. arm or whatever. Yes. Yeah. Which there were sometimes where you could tell they didn't want to have to do the whole green screen thing. But um, I thought they did really they well did with the arm. They did a really good job in how to handle that like sensitively around yep. her feeling some kind of way about it. But um, anyway, uh, sharks were a whole thing. Like, there was an, a point in time, and this movie contributed toward it, where, like, we were all very scared of sharks. Oh, still deathly afraid. Yes. But that's also because I know someone that got bit. Yeah, you do. So it's a, it's a real it's a real concern. But, yeah. Um, no, you're right. Sharks had a time. They had a time. <laughs> uh, the girl, I can't remember her name now, Olivia, something like that. The one with the dark hair that was, like, her rival. She looked so much. Melina. O- Melina. She looked so much older than her that it bothered me. Like, if they were supposed to be in the... I don't know if there's an age bracket Mm-mm. to be considered, but that kind of bugged me. Um, so, love Carrie Underwood to death. Not the best actress. Oh, Robin, I was hoping you were going to so say I wrote that. So, I wrote it down, and I didn't say anything about it because I didn't want to, like, poison Sawyer's brain. And Sawyer goes, 
why do I feel like she's bad? Yeah. And I was like, she's not bad, honey. She's like her friend. And she was like, no, I just feel like she's like not a good actress. And I was like, yeah. But then she was like, but also I kind of think she might be bad. Like the way that she was so overly there for her in the first couple of scenes. Mm. So that's why I was like, is she really saying she's a bad? Or maybe I planted that seed. Mm. So, but then obviously we see how much she is there for her. But she was giving that character in movies that's like, I'm here for you if you need anything, but Mm. then stabs you in the back. Oh, I wasn't getting that. I was just getting very over-the-top actress. And maybe that's what contributed right. to that feeling. Obviously, that's not what this Carrie movie's Underwood, about. Carrie I love you. I love your songs. Love, you are yeah. stunning, beautiful. I want your legs every yes. day of the week. Gorgeous. But yeah. your acting skills back then, not yeah. the greatest. We we thought you were a villain, so sorry. Um, she's I just amazing. Know that. Okay. She's just amazing, though. Like Bethany Hamilton to oh go God. through this and take it in stride and just... I mean, I'm sure that it was simplified for the movie purposes, like... Robin, I, I cried. Oh yeah, I might cry talking about it. Yeah, at the end of the movie, mm-hmm. like it's just, incredible. Just they're showing her like mm-hmm. in her life and her getting back on the board they show for the, the real... first her fr- like they show all the real yeah. footage. And I'm just like in the mission trip she went on to mm-hmm. help people. I mean, I'm literally just yeah. crying on my couch. Incredible. Mm-hmm. Um, I hated when people were like annoying her and harassing her as she oh, was like the paparazzi. Yes, yeah, that yeah. was so annoying. Um, at one point I said it'd be really funny if uh Mal- Malina 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 like if a shark bit her leg off. Oh my God, Robin! <laughs> no, it's fucked up. <laughs> Sorry, Robin. God. That's like that instinct I have when I'm watching a show or a movie. Where I'm like, pow, hit by a bus at like the most un inappropriate, like inopportune times. Anyway, that's just where my brain went because she was being a total bitch. No, she was 100. percent Um, I said this is so sad. Also, Helen Hunt seems like her real mom. Helen Hunt did an amazing job. Such a good job. actress. Yeah, Helen Hunt was amazing. Um, one thing I had was like, how old is she? How old was she when this happened? And like, what about school? What about like other? I don't know. It just seems like how old she was. I want to say she was like she was just so laser focused on 15, this. Maybe? What about school? She they homeschooled. They showed in the movie. Oh, okay. Her mom homeschooled her. Yeah. Her mom homeschooled her and her friend Alana. Okay. She was thirteen. Thirteen. How resilient. Yeah. Uh, I love the feel good montage workout with her family. Yeah. I didn't note that. Um, so my three words were incredible, inspiring, and sharks. Love it. <laughs> Very fitting. Okay. Okay. So what are you giving me next? Next up is, I don't know. Now I'm having second thoughts. Okay. Why are you having second thoughts? Because I think you might hate it. Well. Oh, well, it is what it is. Jawbreaker. Why do you think I'm going to hate it without giving any spoilers? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> it's polarizing polarizing M- my friend group and i yeah loved it you also love amelie so yeah I, it's quoted hard. it all the time i had the vhs i don't know if i want to tell you the other part my sister walked out of the movie theater okay i mean i'm gonna give it a try jawbreaker i think you're gonna hate it i'm gonna change it <laughs> okay because in the other one that... Mm. okay. If I do. hate it, I hate it, though. No, I don't want to give you in one that you're going to hate. Okay. I feel like I've given you enough ones that you didn't love. Okay, fair. Okay, you think about mine real quick. Or you tell me mine. Okay, you're going to get the pacifier. Is that with the rock? Nope. Okay. Vin Diesel. Vin D- yeah. Not the same person. <laughs> I know that. Wait, have you seen it, though? Because you said you hadn't. No, I haven't seen okay. it. Okay. You'll like it. It's good. Okay. It's an easy watch. Okay, I'm going to give you Galaxy Quest. Never heard of that. With Tim, the tool man, Taylor? I don't know. And Sigourney not. Weaver? Okay, it's cute. Okay. All right, Galaxy, Galaxy Quest. Quest. Okay. All right. To the Rex? To the Rex. All right, so my rec is, hot take, macadamia nuts. <laughs> what? They're so good. Y'all check out those macadamia nuts. Underrated nut. Okay. Uh, You know, a bit of a different nut. Not for everyone. Um, Why are they so good, Robin? Because they're creamy yet hard. They are salty yet a little sweet. They are, uh, you know, they have a little bit of that, like, what's the word? International flair. Um, You feel like you're getting a little coastal breeze blowing through your hair when you bite into a macadamia nut turns out they're not from hawaii but they're very popular in hawaii they're actually from australia 
fun fact for y'all. So I just feel like they're not as common. You don't see them as much in a trail mix situation. But I love like the macadamia nut cookies. Mm -hmm. And the other day I just happened to be in the that aisle and I was like, ooh, salted macadamia nuts. They are so good. Okay. And they're pretty good for you as far as nuts go. Okay, macadamia nuts. So, you know, if you have a trail mix that you love, maybe also grab a bag of macadamia nuts, throw them in there, give it a shot. Okay. Very satisfying crunch. Got it. Mm -hmm. Good one. Thanks. <laughs> okay, mine is... They can't all be bangers, okay? Okay, fair enough. <laughs> fair enough. Uh, mine is a movie. Okay. I watched Challengers. Oh, I can't wait. With Zendaya. Perfection. Robin. Perfection Just personified. I can't with this movie. She's such a hard ass and she just rocks the role. Like she's such a hard ass in the best way. Hard and ass. then it's just two men just simping over her mm -hmm. for the whole movie. Simping ain't easy. Yeah. Oof. They both are. But then I've heard it's sexy. But, oh, it's got a little sex in it, mm -hmm. but nothing like. Right. You're not going to be like uncomfortable. No, like in a good way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely a little sexy vibe yeah. throughout, but you're not uncomfortable at all. Yeah. And then the dynamic the boys have with each other is like really good. Mm -hmm. It's just, I was in it the entire time. It's like a little over two hours. Um, heavy tennis. It's very like, there's some like metaphors of like tennis and relationships and they kind of show it with the cinematography. There's some really cool shots, like action shots. Yeah. I will say this, they bounce back and forth between timelines, which I don't always love because mm. I hate when I don't know what the heck is going on. Yeah. They did a really good job of I always knew what the heck was going on. Good. They put it on the screen when they would flash back. They made their hair look different in each yeah. like section of the timeline. Um, so I didn't mind it at all. It was very easy to follow. Yeah. Very good. Very engaging. Makes Zendaya's it like, everything. engage you when they switch to a different time frame. Like, mm -hmm. I, I appreciate that in movies, but I, it is really frustrating when you're like, wait, Hate what it. the... When I don't know what's going on, that is not my type of movie. If Especially I don't know what's going on, Especially the ones where no. it's like just a few days before or something, yes. and they don't... Like, you have to figure that out on your own. It's like, Hate I it. don't want to do work when I'm watching something. Like, <laughs> don't get me wrong. I love a little psychological thriller every now and sure. then. I, it does, I just, I, I need to know what's going on. I yeah. don't want to feel lost when I'm watching a yeah. movie. That's not my type of movie. Yeah. This is not like that. It's really good. I really want to watch it. And the the boys are not my type in any way, shape, or form, but I found myself, you know, blushing a little. Mm -hmm. So it was really good. I I rented it on Amazon Prime. Okay. Um, I've been so meaning to watch it. There. just got to find the right place and time. Maybe this weekend when I have no plans. Yeah, girl. Nice. Once you watch it, you have to let me know what you think. Okay, we will do. All right. I think that's all we got. All right. Well, thanks, everyone, for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, all the things. Go check us out on all the things that we are on and, like, do the same thing there, too. Not just in one place. Yeah. Please. Spotify, Apple Podcasts, TikTok, Instagram. And a lot of other platforms. Oh, yeah. We've we've been, we've added ourselves to iHeartRadio. Uh-huh. Amazon. Google Podcasts. G yeah. As many as we could find. We're out there, y'all. So if you're listening to this and you normally are on a different platform and you prefer that platform, go check it out and hopefully we're there. And mm -hmm. if we're not, let us know. Oh, also. Yes. Merchy merch. Oh, yeah. We added a few more items. We did. Uh, they came out with a new comfort tease. It's like this kind of washed tie dye look. We also did got some feedback that people wanted some that were the now and then some with Robin Kaylee on the front. Mm -hmm. So we added so some of those. it's more like a graphic tee. Yeah, so go check those out. And if y'all have something that you'd like to see when you're looking in there and you're like, oh, I wish that they had, let us know because we can probably add it. Yep. Yep. Okay, well, we'll see y'all next week. Bye, y'all.